All right, my name is Sonny, and I'm out day tripping, so you don't have to. If you've Googled this uh, YouTube tutorial, you know what you're looking for. You know the guy. I think it's my job to show you the grave and then show you the location. <clears throat> Adolf Rupp. 42 years. Oh my goodness, he was the coach of the University of Kentucky. And I assume this is his son. I don't know his story. Herky Rupp. And then wife. Alright, so I'll be straight up with you. It took me quite a while to find this grave. Now I've GPS geotagged it while I was here. So if you can go on find a grave. And maybe they've updated the uh, location. But section 45 section 45 of lexington cemetery if you wander around long enough you'll find it again this is sort of what the section looks like and you'll see over here there's a enclosed by shrubs section if that helps you a little bit So, if you're looking for section 45, they're not just in numerical order. It seems like like the first row is the single digits and then 20 and 30 and 40. So it's not like necessarily that 44 and 45 are right next to each other. You could run out of row in theory. And I have to be honest, I've driven around the cemetery so much that I couldn't find the exit to save me right now at this point. But, so Lexington's premier cemetery. And you can see right there's 45 and there's 32. So it's not like the necessary miracle. I think it's like layers. Yeah, this is section 19. Find that fountain right down that way, and I do know that down that way, pretty close to the water, is uh, James Varney, James Varney, Jim Varney, Ernest. You know what I mean, Vern? That guy. Uh, there's quite a few congressmen buried here. Uh, not many notable uh, celebrities, so to speak. I'm off to Paris, Kentucky today to get Secretariat. That should be interesting. I have no idea if you can get in there, how it works. Nothing. Now, I am totally going by feel on which way is the exit. I will say that at the entrance, there's a spectacular tall monolith that I definitely want to get before I leave. It's just a feeling though. So Lexington isn't that far from Frankfurt. I went over there and saw Daniel Boone and that Miss Elizabeth. It's not that far from Louisville, uh, Muhammad Ali, right? Uh, colonel Sanders. I don't think he was a real colonel. I'm going to end this video if I don't see the exit coming up. If I do see the exit, I'll put that monolith on this video as well. I think I'm going in the right direction. Uh, as I drive around these cemeteries, and, and I, I don't want to say it's a fascination, I like the architecture more than anything. As I do drive around these old cemeteries, I am just fascinated with 
how many names have just sort of been evaporated into history? Some of these. I mean, you just you don't hear some of these names anymore. And uh, to me, that's history. And we surround ourselves with history, and every day, new history is made. But it is truly unfortunate how few people look for that history around them. I feel that I'm really close because I just saw a sign that said bus parking. I remember, oh, here we go. Yeah, so here is the exit. Hey, actually, it's good, right? And I'm going to do a U turn because that model, if you can see it from here. Oh, I didn't even notice this. It would be nice to notice that. There's a map of the sections. Right at the entrance. Yeah, you know. It would have been nice to notice that, right? Yeah, it's the little things. So, look at this model. It's huge. It's, I don't even know, maybe 200 feet tall. And it'll definitely be on my list of things to photograph and find out. What is the story behind that thing, huh? All right. Y'all enjoy your day trips and uh, fight the good fight.